Hello everyone, Marfa1 here. Welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So last episode, we just finished the Shadow Temple, and um, now what we're going to be doing next, again, we're not told to go there, but we're going to go to where we actually need to go. But um, now that now that we got the hard boots, not very much opened. But um, at least another thing we can also do is go to an area that we have not been to at all. Well, we probably went to one. We probably went there one time. Actually, take I take that back. We actually went there a few times because we're gonna be going to the Garuda Valley, and uh, the Garuda Valley is basically the place where the King of Evil was first born. So. Maybe we can find some more intel about it when we go over there, of course. And hopefully I uh, can get a lot of good luck out of it as well. So let's go ahead and uh, work away work away yourselves over here, shall we? Also, I'm recording it in a completely different way. Feel free to let me know how it looked and, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get ourselves to uh, this area over here, which is, of course, has a completely different texture compared to the rest of the um, the rest of the world. Uh, the rest of the world. So um, we go that way, and then it probably just stops for a second. But that's mainly because of the transition, and uh, that ain't too bad. Yeah, use Epona to jump across this broken bridge, of course. And, um, we'll get off Epona for a second. And, um... Hey, you! If you're going to the fortress, would you mind finding out where my workers are doing over there? Yes, sir. So, basically what we need to do is we need to go ahead and locate, of course, the, uh, workers... Uh, the carpenters that was once worked here to, uh, build the bridge. Let's wait for it to become nighttime. I think it's best to enter it at night. Because once we enter at night, it'd be more of like a sneaking mission because we're entering the Garuda Fortress. The Garuda Fortress is filled with a lot of dangers up ahead. So, obviously, if you weren't familiar to, of course, the uh, castle courtyard back when you were a kid, this is going to be a stealth mission, so we're going to have to be, uh, be extra careful in our surroundings. It's going to be very interesting. Oh my god, I can't believe she didn't see me. But yeah, um, you're going to have to, you're going to have to be careful not to get seen by the Gerudo guards, and, uh, if you get caught, uh, there's going to be some big trouble if you do so. Hey you, young man, over there, look over here, inside the cell. I have no idea where you've come from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. All of my fellow carpenters are imprisoned somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, I will repay the favor somehow. But be careful, there's sure to be a lot of Gerudo guards somewhere around here. Woo! Watch out! Alright, looks like we've been spotted. Here we are, we're gonna be dancing. We're gonna be dancing with this Gerudo guard, and watch out for that jump attack of hers. If you get if you get caught into her jump attack, then you're gonna be in big trouble. Oof. Always gonna take your time and try to make sure that you do not screw us up. Just like that, around the corner. You'll get a small key, which allows you to of course rescue the carpenter from its prison. Did you come here to save me? Oh, that's just swell. I'm Ichiro the Carpenter. We were really interested of in joining all the all-female group. Let me check something really quickly. Yeah, I think we're recording. I don't know if the beginning is recorded very well. Well, I'll have to find out. Uh, we were really interested in joining all the all their all-female group, but they locked us up like it's just because we're men. We don't care about the Gerudo anymore. They're so rude. Three of my fellow carpenters are also being captured. Please help them escape too. Okay. So 
So now we rescued one Gerudo Carpenter. But there are four total, so we need to rescue three more. Let's go ahead and enter this way. And uh, from this room, this is also somewhat of a maze area. But from here, get ready to get your bow ready. And then shoot at this Gerudo Guard. If you shoot at a Gerudo Guard, they will be knocked out. They're not dead, don't worry. But if you shoot at them, you'll basically knock them out. Like that. And yeah, Noah hit him. Now, just like the, uh... Just like the, uh, guards at the Hyrule Castle, pretty much back near the beginning of the game, their eyesight is not very well. It's not like Metal Gear Solid. Although Metal Gear Solid is definitely loads better in terms of, like, stealthing. Or, like, investigation missions. But again, um, of course, um, hopefully they do get a lot better at it. I might want to get captured by one of them, but I'm not sure. Maybe just, like, for demonstration purposes? I, uh, I feel like I just want to do a flawless run, just to let you know how good I am at the game, but... If you want to, uh, see what happens if you get caught, um, unless I, unless I make a mistake... Unless I make a mistake, you might as well look it up yourself. Or play the game, of course. Alright, we rescued two carpenters. You're a cute kid. Thank you for coming to save me. I'm Jiro the Carpenter. These women are so scary. I'd rather work as a carpenter than join them. I can't wait to say goodbye to this place. Two more of my buddies are still being held prisoner. Will you please get them out too? Definitely make sure to rescue a lot of these guys. Now we gotta go this way. And from here, um, you could use the hookshot. I'm gonna use the hookshot. Actually, no. We just got the dungeon item. Let's use advantage of it. You can use the hover boost to hover across. Really helpful. And then, uh, you enter this area. Which, if you go over here, there's a gold sculptula hanging right there. Of course, you do that to get yourself your gold token. I apologize, my voice might not be the best. I'm burping a lot. Maybe I should probably take some, uh, some amino acid or something like that. To hopefully make it feel better. But I don't know. Anyway, so, once you do that, you climb up here. And you can either play the Scarecrow song, assuming that you came here with the regular hook shot, or if you have the long shot, you can also hook shot over here. Or you can do this. Get a lot of speed and make sure to jump attack at the end to make sure to guarantee a jump. And then you open up this treasure chest, which of course will give you the uh, which will give you a piece of heart. go. So now what we gotta do is we gotta drop down here. And we gotta drop down here. Now, the moment you walk into this room, be very careful. Because there is a Garuda guard ready to ambush you if you're not ready. And I think if you stand still, he will see you if you don't move. But yeah, you take him out. I'm gonna put my regular boots back on. And, uh, go to the end of this tunnel. Hey you, young man, over there, look over here, inside the cell. Alright, I'm rescuing you. Got a third carpenter out of four, of course. But yeah, we're approaching the, uh, we're, we're gonna be approaching the fifth dungeon. Uh, the fifth temple, actually. We're getting close near the end of the game. I'm really excited to finally get this Let's Play finished. I'm so excited. This Let's Play is running quick. Man, 
You're feisty. Oh! Because I shielded that. If I didn't, if I didn't block that, I would have gotten myself caught, and I would have been thrown in, of course, their prison cell. That would not be good. That was close. Insert a uh, smash gas sound effect. Thanks, boy. You're fantastic, Shaboru the Carpenter. Have you seen our boss, boy? He's probably worried about me. I have to go back to him immediately. One more of our workers are still here as a prisoner. Please save him. Alright, one more carpenter to rescue. Alright, so once you do that, you drop yourself down here. And then, of course, you enter in this door. This is where the last carpenter is being held. You know what? You know what, actually? Why not? Let's get ourselves captured. I think right here would be a good time to get captured. It's just so I can show, um, just to show off something that you probably won't see in a while. Unless you are really good like I am, but uh, I'm gonna get captured here. And don't worry, there's an easier way I can get back to this point, so I'm gonna use the answer to this. Let's dance. Oh, I could have gotten caught by that. No. Come on. I know you're gonna do the move. There we go. If you get hit by that, don't take us so lightly. If you get hit by that, you get thrown in prison. Stupid kid, get in there and keep quiet! So now we're stuck in prison, and uh, we're gonna have to, um, rethink of our lives. Uh, or rather, we're gonna use our long shot to get ourselves out of here. Now, once you're up here, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and shoot out these, uh, those guards from up here. We only have to shoot at three targets. There we go. Uh, do I want to? Not. Why not? I want to show off this little area. Actually, it's completely optional, but even then, like, even then, it ain't too much. The only reason you want to be in here so that way um, you can get yourself a little bonus. There's two guards in here. Yeah, there's only two guards in here. And, uh... Of course, you mainly uh, do this to get yourself up here, grab some money. And then, of course, you climb up this way. Use the hook shot. Hook shot over this. Then, uh, you climb up this gigantic slope. And then once you go up here, then you then you hit this crate, you will get yourself a purple ruby, which is for 50 rubies. My wallet was full, so it didn't matter. While I'm up here, I'm gonna get a really good shot at all three of these. Shit! How did I not get caught by that? I clicked out of the game, and I still didn't get caught. How did I not get caught by that? That was so lucky. Okay. No more fooling around. 
I was trying to land on top of that. Shut up, Navi. I was trying to land on top of the grating, not like, not over it, but whatever. Anyway, if you enter in here, that's also another way to get yourself in here. I'm running out of arrows. I do not want to take the long way, so I'm going to have to focus on this battle. I have the high ground, Anakin. But so do you. Here, please, the high ground. Got him! Get a small key and rescue the last and final carpenter. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. Now I'm free, thanks. I'm sure of a carpenter. For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the desert that I overheard the Garuda talking about. They say in order to cross the haunted wasteland, you need the Eye of Truth. The Colossus is on the far side of a wasteland. Okay, now I'm going back to my tent near Garuda Valley, so drop by sometime. You may find something useful there. Bye! I've seen your fine work to get past the guards here. You must have some good thieving skills. I used to think that all men besides the great Gandorf were, were useless, but now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The Excalade Naboru, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Naboru is the second in command of the great Gandorf, king of the Garuda Thieves. Her headquarters is at the Spirit Temple, which is at the end of the desert. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? Alright then. You're in from now on. Take this with it. You will have free access to all areas of the fortress. So the Gerudo guards were actually watching my progress of, like, not only taking out their own soldiers, but also rescuing their men. He saw how amazing my skills are, which pretty much get me, which pretty much granted me full trust that I will basically be their, uh, their leader. So now I'm basically the Gerudo's leaders. They all trust me. So, um, yeah, now I'm able to walk around freely in this area as much as I want. But, um, at the edge over here, on this target right there, is a gold sculptula. And, uh, yeah, this is where you get your gold sculptula. But now we're gonna play the Sun Song, so that way, um, we can reset our current position and, uh, get ready for the next thing we're gonna do. Let's go get our Pona over here. Alright. So now we climb up here, and this is where uh, we have this little side activity we can do. Hey, newcomer! You have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but... Okay, now nah, I'm a thief. Okay, how about a challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot at the target with your arrows. Let's start with how many points you can score with 20 arrows. If you can score a thousand points, I'll give you something good. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So for, um, we need to get a thousand points in this archery minigame. What you do, you start off, is of course, you shoot at the pots. Then you try to get as good points on here as possible. And then of course, from here, you go ahead and shoot at this little side target over here. Got 
got 14,090. That was really good. So upon doing so, you get yourself a piece of heart. But believe it or not, there's actually one more reward that you will get upon doing this. So we're gonna do that too. So, you're looking good. Show me your skills again. You should set a new goal for, for 1,500 points. Try again. Yeah. So this is gonna be the second reward you're gonna get, and uh... Just do basically what I did, but better. Gotta nail these next few shots. There we go! With my last arrow. Second try. Or first attempt. Well, technically, they're both my first attempts, and I did them both perfectly. You get the upgraded quiver, the biggest quiver. You can hold up to a maximum of 50 arrows. So that is pretty well, that's pretty good. 